And now for start the cleanup. So I know this thing is taking many more videos than I thought, but gives you an idea of uh, these cases are not as simple when you try to make them. So maybe it's better to buy a store bought one the many people who make up these frames. Back to this wonderful Microlux um, sander. Uh, this really is a carpenter's greatest tool and not just a model builder, it's a carpenter's greatest tool. Did a lot of cleaning up to the, the new top and uh, just waiting for the filler to dry. Lots of little holes. And there were some wood boring um, holes in the wood and um, my not so perfect joinery. So when we clean it up it'll be interesting to see how it looks. <laughs> interesting pieces on the pen sander is this little round section which is ideal for doing curves such as this. I always wondered where I've used it but this is absolutely the only tool I ever got that could do something like this. When all else fails, you go back to manual, which is just a dowel with sticky sandpaper on it, and it really allows you to get the final finish. So, a very important detail on the case. Pretty good day. Um, we've literally finished sticking everything, so now it's just a matter of cleaning up. The bottom seems to have leveled out, the posts were always pretty good. And the new top really looked fantastic. The epoxy is still a little wet, so I'll wait until tomorrow and um, start sanding and cleaning it up. But I've actually put the first primer coat on, which we'll sand off, and we'll use the same formula we used on the model. There'll be three coats. Well, we've got the first coat on, and it, it has a little bit of work still to do on it, but I'm pretty happy. We had to fill a few little spots there. Wish I had a darker filler, but that one will have to do. Now we're going to line up to drill the holes. You remember we had showed you this jig that we had made up. Um, so this is the jig that we use to drill the holes on the top and bottom frame. That same jig will line up the hole for the post. So we clamp it in real tight and containing the jig also helps us drill the hole straight since we don't have a drill press. And there it is exactly where we want it. And we do the same thing with the other side. And either we'll use a little dowel like this, or we can put the screw hole, as that screw is small enough that I can tap it and use a, a hex head bolt to screw it in post. We have dry fitted it. We have just completed the um, the first rail sanding, having put a, a first coat of, um, of polyurethane on it. And we have sanded it really back down to wood, got rid of all the burrs. And now, if you live in the tropics like I do, the most important thing is that you treat the wood 
uh, for termite overboring insects. Um, I'm using Cupronol today. In the UK, you can use uh, radical termite root, which is excellent. You need to get it down, particularly in the groove where the glass or the plastic is, is going to sit and uh, paint it on liberally so that you really don't miss any spots. So we're all complete, we leave it to dry and then we'll put the second coat on and after that there will probably be maybe two more coats. Alright, this is coat number two. We put it on liberally with a brush and then we'll wipe it off with a rag because we only want a very thin very thin coat on it and now we're going to rub it down with a piece of cloth this makes gives you a rubbed finish which is really what we want it's almost like spraying it on um, you really get a very even, even thing. We did a very light sanding with uh, 800 paper and um, corrected a few little errors that we saw. Um, so this is painting coat number three. So we've bolted in the four post and uh, right now it looks pretty good. Originally we had decided we were going to screw the posts on the bottom but stick the top. Um, after reflection I saw no reason why I couldn't screw both the bottom and the top post into respective frames. To do this we're going to use the jig that we developed for drilling the holes in the corner. Um, as the best method of uh, changing the side, the top side of the drill hole to accept a hex head bolt. The only thing to be concerned when you're drilling the hole is that the head must be just below the level of the frame that the glass sits on otherwise you're going to end up breaking the glass and now we'll just tap it you can tighten up these um, these tops by putting glue in them CA is excellent at tightening these things up so she's all done and um, I much prefer this, this method simply because it gives me the flexibility of being able to bolt it together, which is fantastic. The first fitting of the model in the frame and it really looks just right. Well, I just am back from the hardware store with the acrylic sheets and um, I must say I, they were much more expensive than I thought they would be, around 80 US. We are going to cut the sheets on the table saw. Um, it's a real challenge in this tight space, um, so you need to work out, depending on if you don't have a nice big shop, work out how you're going to do it. We've lined it all up and everything fits. I did have to slack off one of the bottom bolts slightly um, as there was a very slight alignment problem. But just to screw the top on. All installed, plastic protection taken off and really very happy at the end result. This will give you an idea of what the top looks like. Light corners. 
and certainly the most fantastic thing about using acrylic, I can lift it up. Um, the other case that I made using glass, I certainly couldn't lift it up. So it definitely is lighter. We'll see how scratch resistant it is, um, but I'm very happy with the final result. The only thing left to do is, which I'll do tomorrow, is order the glass for the top. And of course I haven't made the base as yet. Um, that'll be a next week project.